Let's try now Ctrl C for copying, Ctrl V for pasting, Ctrl X for cutting, Ctrl A to select all and Ctrl Z to undo the move. We have this little print statement. Let's try to Ctrl C. Now it's copied. Let's try now Ctrl V. Oh nice, it's pasted right now. Let's now cut them out. Ctrl X. Now we cut them, okay, and when we press Ctrl V, they are pasted again. Okay, so we can use now Ctrl Z to undo our moves, as you can see. In computer you can use Ctrl Y to redo the move, but in PyCharm you can't do that. You can instead to redo our, uh, your move, you can just press Ctrl plus Shift plus Z and as you can see we redo our moves Ctrl Y to remove a line ok now let's try Ctrl Y to remove this line I don't like this line so just put the cursor on the line and Ctrl Y boom the sentence is deleted now let's delete all of these and boom. In PyCharm you use tab to complete a sentence in the code. So now if I type PR you can see these are the results here and you can just type tab the full word will be written here and you can continue as you like. For example D and here you can see all of that to choose any one of them just use tab control plus slash you can comment and uncomment for example we have this little code here just press control and slash and boom your whole code is now comment again you can press control and slash and it's back normal Okay, now control plus control to write multiple lines. Let's see how we can do that. Okay, now let's try double control. Press the first control first, then you hold the second control and you press up or down. And let's see how. Double control and I press down. You can see I can type whatever I like. Erase, for example, let's add a text here. That it is. Here we have Shift plus F10 to run the code and Ctrl plus F2 to stop the code. Okay, and now for running this code, let's type Shift F10. And as you can see, it's running here. And when we press Ctrl F2, okay, it's repeated. When we press Ctrl F2, it's stopped right now. 